Here's what we're building today. I'm on this website, minding my own business, and I go to exit the website, go to the back button, and boom, pop up. Super happy confetti. Before you go, get this cool download for free. Click on the download button, and you get the download. Super slick. I'm gonna show you how to design and build all these things right now, including the confetti in the background, and make it look super exciting and fun for your visitors. To start creating what we just saw, we have to have pop-ups available in Elementor. If we go to Elementor, Templates, and then Pop-ups, this needs to say, add new template or add first pop-up, not upgrade. If it says upgrade, you have to upgrade to Elementor Pro to get this functionality. If you wanna get Elementor Pro, there's a link to it in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. If you end up buying through that, I get a commission. It does not make it more expensive for you, but it helps me keep making these videos for free on YouTube. So I really appreciate it if you buy through that. And once you have the pop-up functionality available, click on add new template. I'm gonna call this exit intent content upgrade. It's a pop-up. Just for extra clarity, click on create template. You can use one of these pre-built ones, but we're not gonna. We're gonna just go from scratch. And there's some settings I wanna set up first because there's some fancy stuff I wanna do in this video. Fancy stuff that you saw in the demo a moment ago. And to do that, we have to do various things. So the first thing we wanna do is make it look like the entire background is white. So we're gonna go to style over here, go to overlay, the background, we need to make it white. Make this all F's down here. Six F's in a row, <clears throat> or three, is white. And I want to get rid of the box shadow on here. So I'm going to pop up, get rid of the box shadow. And now it looks like our pop-up is just there in that little area. Uh, but before I do that, actually, we're just going to add a color in back in temporarily so we can see the width of the actual pop-up, which is the white square the white rectangle. I want to have it be wider. So let's make it, I don't know, something like that. Something like this. And content position is going to be at the top because it's going to be shifted down with what we do. If you don't do any fancy stuff or when you're done um, creating the pop-up and it's not in the right position, you can change the position here and get it to the place that you want it. I think the top should do for now. We can adjust this later. And now we want to turn the overlay color back to white. And now we're gonna add some sections. Click on the plus, flex box. I'm gonna add two columns. And these two columns, you know, for the purposes right now, I'm gonna change this to center for the pop-up setting so it's in the middle. It just looks better while I'm recording, I think. But I, I have a feeling we're gonna change it back to be at the top. So we have these sections now, let's add in the elements that we want to add first, I'm going to add an image over here. I'm going to add a headline over here. I'm going to add text editor right there. And I'm going to add a button right there. For the image, I already have one on the website. It's this guy right here. And this is a real thing, the Ultimate 17 Point WordPress Launch Checklist. If you want to get it, there's a link to it in the description down below. It's totally free. Just got to opt in and you've got it. So hundreds of thousands, no, not that many, but over 100,000 people have checked this out already and used it. So if you want to check it out, go for it. I'm just going to type in some text here. This is an exit intent pop-up, which means people are about to exit the site, we think. So we're going to have this say, before you go, and then say something fancy down here. If you want to make sure you've dotted your I's and crossed your T's before you launch your next website, you need this checklist. Awesome. Let's change this text to download. And inside of here, you're going to want to have a link to your download. And that's that. That image is all done. I'm going to change the background image or background color, sorry, of this guy. Because I want the ebook to stand out a little bit. I'm going to change the border to be rounded, or the corners, I should say. I'm going to add some negative margin to bring this book outside of the area. Uh, bottom of, there we go, and the top, let's make it like 30, something like that. And the reason this works is because we expanded the pop-up. 
if you don't expand the pop-up, this will be cut off and your image will be contained within this section right here, the light blue. So the reason we expanded the entire pop-up to be, how many pixels was it? If we go back to the main pop-up settings, it's 900, no, 844 pixels high. See if I, re if I reduce this, you see the book disappearing. So you wanna make sure that the size of the pop-up is such that you see the entire thing popping out of the background. The download button, I'm gonna change this color to pop a little more, let's make it orange. That's pretty poppy right there. And this color up here is gonna make that black. All right, before you go, blah, 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 download. Sweet, pop up done. Let's publish this. Let's give it a condition of the entire site. Let's make it triggered on exit intent because that's the whole point of this video. The advanced rules, you can have these triggered if you want. For example, you might want to show your exit intent pop up only to the most interested people. So you might want to show after a certain number of page views or a certain number of sessions, but it's up to you. I'm going to keep that turned off, all those turned off actually. And now we are almost done. The last thing I'm going to do is have an animation on here. So let's go to Lottie files because Lottie file animations are super cool. I'm going to search for confetti. I've actually found one already that I'm going to use, but let's do the search anyway. So I want to have like this exciting explosion of stuff in the background when someone downloads. So if I go to my dashboard, I already have this one on my dashboard. What does that mean? Lottie files used to be just click on one and then you just get a link right here. I have to click on that one's paid. I have to click on, where is it here? Save workspace to generate or save to workspace to generate. And that puts it in your dashboard and then you can click on it. Then you've got to click this toggle over here and then you can copy the asset link right there. So I'm going to add a Lottie widget. She first got a new section, new section, just one and Lottie. Throw that in there. For source, we're going to choose external URL. It's better for your load speed if you just download the Lottie file, upload it to your WordPress site, and then choose media file. But for the purpose of this video, we'll just keep it as this. For settings, let's loop it so we can see it's happening. There it is right there. And we want to I'm going to slow down the playback speed. And then that's pretty good, but I want this behind our pop-up. So how do we do that? We go into the pop-up first, the pop-up section, go to advanced, change the Z index to anything. People often put it to 999, but you don't need to. You don't need to go that high. You just need to go to any number that's higher than the number you're gonna to assign to the Lottie file. So now for the Lottie file, Z index, let's just put it at zero. And for the margin, on the bottom, we're going to put minus. It's funky how Elementor does the, the minus in here. Let's do minus more than that. And more than that. And more than that. Let's just uh, hold down the down arrow. That's a little too much. So I want it popping out a bit at the top. This is an exciting little animation. I don't know if I wanted to have it loop that many times. I'm just going to loop it for three times. And as you can see, we have to scroll for the pop-up and that's not super either. So I'm just going to reduce the size of this image. So it's big enough to pop out, but not so big we have to scroll too much. And if I go in, back into the settings here and choose top for the alignment, think that about fixes it. Now update, I saved this earlier by accident already, so let's go into the display conditions. I chose entire site for the condition. For the trigger, I chose exit intent. For the advanced rules, I chose nothing. But if you wanna be more selective about who you show this pop-up to, you could choose after a certain number of page views, which would be the more interested people. Or you can show after X number of sessions, page views being pages you view in one session. So you might go to a website and link through five different pages all in one session. That would be page views and one session. But if you come back every day of the week, that would be seven sessions if you come back seven days a week.
So choose what you want in there. I'm going to choose none of those. Save it. Now if we go to our website, that's our Lottie file right there, that uh, preloader. If you want to know how to do that, I've got a tutorial for it. I'll put it in the card up above and the description down below. Now if I mess around on the site, it doesn't matter how long, so we have no um, advanced rule set. If I try to exit the site, as in my cursor leaves the website area and goes to my browser area up at the top, we see our pop-up right there. Our Lottie animation runs three times. And maybe I'd want to stop it like right there if I was going to upgrade this. And it's running way more than three times. But if I could stop it like right there on the last one anyway. Okay, click on download. And bada boom, we're into the download. And because you're doing this for free, you're not asking for an opt-in here. You're probably going to want to have some kind of call to action inside of your whatever you're giving away. Just saying. Because you want to have a call to action somewhere, I think. And I'm going to make another video where I show you how to actually add an opt-in. So I think this will be a free download. They have to opt-in. We're going to connect it to Kit, formerly ConvertKit, because that's the software, the platform I'm using at the moment for my emails. And probably I'm probably going to be there for a long time. Uh, why? Because it just added a new free tier for 10,000 subscribers. I'll tell you more about that in the other video where we have an actual opt-in form. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. And then check out this video right over here, which shows you how to create a preloader using Lottie files for animations. And a preloader is an animation that plays before your website's fully loaded. It's super great functionality, super great. And you're going to need it on a website eventually. So make sure you check out that video.